Uh, this will be a relatively short video, but it will be one of the most important videos I have done in a long time. Um, it requires, um, well it doesn't require anything, but it require, actually it does require showing me, me showing my autographs that I got in today. And I'll show you the first ones. These are not as important, but always very important to get into a uh, golf success. And this is from my 1991 and 1990 set of Bill Sander. I'm sorry, 91 and 92, that's what they are. This, the 92 is a little less common. The 91 is what everybody goes for because it's about $5 a set or something ridiculous like that. So you can get started on those. And this was out of Washington State. So that's really awesome. Two more golf for my... Uh, the other thing is I have purchased a tripod so things should be a little, a little more stable these days. This one, I can't remember if it came out of Arizona because I have since lost the... Here we go. Uh, no, it was North Houston, Texas. This one right here, North Houston, Texas. I couldn't remember what I had sent. But this is from my NASA project, and I have seen these on eBay for a long time. I have also uh, written to this guy a long time ago. Uh, this is none other than uh, Brian Lunny, and I did not want to pay $40 for his autograph on eBay. $35, $40. And who is Brian Lunny? Uh, he was a flight director for NASA for many years, and he is also the son of Glenn Lunny, who is a very famous... Uh, flight director, you know, uh, NASA operations guy from way back in the day, and I have his autograph, and now I have the sun. That's really awesome on this 5x7, which I made glossy instead of matte, but that's all right. And then there he is in the center of this, and the reason I sent this picture, I think, it's very possible that's mission 115, and lo and behold, this is one that I customized. I glued a NASA little picture to it. This is Brian Lunny and his envelopes say Onyx Flight. A lot of flight directors had uh, colors associated with their names and he was Onyx for his color, whatever that color is, I don't know. And this is September 9th, uh, 2006, Kennedy Space Center. And there was a picture I glued on there because there was no decoration. And I need that for my NASA mission, so I am out of 135 or 136, can't remember right offhand. I need two more. And he says, Dear Henry, thanks for your interest in America's human space flight program. I'm impressed that you were able to dig up those old pictures. They brought back many fond memories. Thanks for that. Godspeed, Brian Lonnie, Onyx Flight. That's a really awesome success for my NASA project. I know it says only six more to go up there. Um, but this was a picture I used when I had two more to go. It's a picture I took at a local museum uh, about half an hour to an hour away. Um, Evergreen Space Museum and Flight has a spruce goose there. Um, but anyway, um, check out Brian Lunny. I don't remember. I sent it to him as to his current work, which was really cool. I found these on uh, uh, Google Images or NASA Images. I can't remember which, but there he is at work at his former job at... Uh, Houston Missions Control and really awesome success and thank you for watching.